Hi students. So now today class we are going to enter into the different ecosystem. So this is the seventh units. So we are going to discuss the ecosystem. So there is a conversation between the two girls in the textbooks. So some girl saying this, one girl saying this. Ponds and forests are habitat. Ponds and a Ecosystem. In an ecosystem, 
there is an interaction between the living things and the non-living things. In an ecosystem, water is there, animals is there, plants is there, microorganisms is there, soil is there. Everything is included in an ecosystem. So small a forest ecosystem, grassland ecosystem, desert ecosystem, different types of ecosystems we can see. Marine ecosystem, freshwater ecosystem. In the particular area, living things and non-living things is there. Both is there. Non-living things is required for the living things. Otherwise, they cannot survive. For example, take a plants. Where plants will grow? In the air? No, no, no. Plants will grow in the soil. Because plenty of nutrition will be available for the plants in the soil only. If there is no soil, plants cannot grow, the large trees cannot grow, they need support, they need nutrition from the soil, they will absorb. In the soil, they will But they need air also, carbon dioxide for the preparation of photosynthesis, they need sunlight. They need water, that's why there is an interaction, there is a uh, relationship between the living things and non-living things. The relationship between the biotic and abiotic in an ecosystem. So there is interdependence is there in the living things and non-living things. So this is about the ecosystem. You can see the different types of ecosystem in the next class. There is a small Lab activity is there, we do that lab activity. What is the lab activity? So this lab I talked about the structure of the ecosystem. How we are going to observe the structure of the ecosystem in our surrounding. In our surrounding ecosystems is there? Yes. If this small garden is there, small grassland is there, we can see the plenty of organisms in the particular area of that ecosystem. See, look at this aim, lab activity aim. What is the aim? Study an ecosystem at your school or at your home or at your so the farm whatever may be the specific place. Study. Study an ecosystem at your school. You are not coming school, but you can do in your home. In your small foreign area, wherever it may be. What the materials is required for this activity? Materials. Nothing. You can need a small measuring tape. You need a measuring tape. And you need one string. A string is not available. You can take a thread, like a rope. And you need a small stick. Four small sticks, like this size, or this size small sticks, and we can use some magnified glass. What is that? Hand lens, and we need one uh, uh, hand towel, and we need soil. This is a compulsory device. Select a particular area in your school or in your home or in the gardens, in park, wherever may be. So, select a particular area. Now, we have to measure with the measuring tape one meter of the area. From here to here, one meter. 
and we have to insert a four sticks in the side. Inserting the sticks in the side. So like this, we have to. Insert the sticks into the exactly by a one meter, one meter. Like take it square of one meter, one meter length, width, length, width. We have inserted four sticks. Now we have to tie the string for the four part of this sticks. String is not there. You can use a rope also, the ropes. The arm will be change. And we need some small sticks we have inserted. We need strings. We need some land lenses. Hand lenses or magnified glass will available in your box. And we need some towels and we need some sovels like to dig in the holes. Now come to the observation. Now come to the observation. So this is your part. What you will observe in the particular area of an ecosystem, behind your school or front of your house, in the, in the gardens or park, whatever may be. What is our what organisms we can see in that particular area? So you can choose a different place. So if somebody guards grass, you can write or note it. So in observations, in that particular one meter of area, I found grass is there. Write the grass. Somebody, if, if grass is not there, then what else is there? If no grass, you can write grass is not there, but soil is there. So soil. In below the grass also soil is there. Okay, grass, soil is there. Now like that you have to think and what could be, what animals could be there in that particular regions. So some ants may be available, ants, small ants. You can see some mosquitoes in the particular area. Some unwanted like weeds will be available in that particular area. Soil is there. Think air also is there. Air, air, everywhere air is there. Air is there. Plants is there. Grass is there. Soil is there. Water also is there because the soil is in wet. Water may be there. Some small mosquitoes and some small house flies we can see and then we can see ants in that particular area ants also is there if you dig it if you dig it properly in the soil we can see earthworms you can see earthworms like that you can see the plenty of different types of organisms so we can in a particular one meter of area an ecosystem we can see the biotic and abiotic, living things and non-living things. What non-living things you observe in that particular area? What non-living things or what living things you observe in that particular area? Just you have to write down. So also we can see the microorganisms we cannot see our eyes. But exactly 100% in that particular area, microorganisms will be there. Microorganisms will be there. Somebody, you can see the different types of organisms in that particular area. So it is not necessary to get the same organisms is present in you or the same <coughs> organisms is present in your friend. There may be different types of organisms you can form in that particular area. This is about the lab activity. Study an ecosystem 
एच यू आर स्कूल एच यू आर होम एच यू आर गार्डन एच यू आर इन दिलेज इन दील्ड वेर एवर मे बी यूर गोइंग टू डू दैट पर्टिकुलर गोइंग टू ऑब्जर्व दैट पर्टिकुलर इको सिस्टम वाट यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया यू हैव टू राइट देयर नेम्स सो दिस इज द टुडे कुमार रीड द लैब एक्टिविटी केयरफुली राइट एंड ड्रा द स्मॉल डायग्राम राइट व्हाट यू फाउंड व्हाट ऑर्गेनिजम्स इधर देयर लिविंग थिंग्स और नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स डू इट एंड राइट इट and this is the homework today okay thank you students